Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25115. As you can see, Microsoft is going further with the dev channel. And now we have a new build for the dev channel. And also in this build, the window that let you switch between the dev and the better channels closed, starting with this build. So you can no longer switch from the dev channel to the better channel because the updates that will start from this build will be newer updates than the Windows 11 22h2 version. Microsoft, although Microsoft is stating that you have a 10 days period that you can use to decide if you want to go back or not to the better channel. So in these 10 days, you can switch the, to the better channel until a new build will be released. And as you can see right now on this build, we can no longer switch from the dev to the better channels. This build will also not be offered to ARM64 PCs. And of course, maybe in the next build or a few builds from now, Microsoft will also release a build for ARM64. So so now let's talk about what is new in this build. Again, I have to tell you that this is a smaller build because every now and then when Microsoft is changing things around, we will have smaller builds and then they will bring up more and more interesting features. So for now, in this build, Microsoft is announcing suggested actions. So now Windows Insiders can try out a new feature in this build for making everyday tasks quicker in Windows 11 through inline suggested actions. So how is this working? When you copy a date, time or phone number, Windows will suggest actions relevant to you, such as creating calendar events or making phone calls with your favorite apps. As you can see, when you copy a phone number, Windows will pop up an inline light dismissible UI that suggests ways to call the phone number using Teams or other installed apps that offer click to dial call functions. And as you can see, you have other options here, which is actually pretty, pretty interesting. You're going to have phone link, of course, Edge and other apps that you can use in order to quickly call this number. When you copy a date, Windows will pop up an inline light dismissible UI that suggests creating the event using supported calendar apps. Upon user selection and preference, the app is launched with its corresponding calendar event creation page with autofill date and or time as you can see here. And we can create an event using the Windows calendar and it will automatically select the date for us. I think this is kind of interesting and could be very useful. Microsoft is also stating that they updated the icons in the Windows recovery environment, WinRE, on this build. Unfortunately, I cannot show them to you right now, but maybe I will try to show them to you in the next build because I cannot record at the same time when entering the Windows recovery environment, but I'm sure that they used a really nice design that complements the Windows 11 experience well. This is basically everything that is new in this new build, 25,115, but we have also a few fixes. So for example, regarding the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue related to loading the system tray icons and settings personalization in taskbar, which could cause settings to crash when opening that page recently. This issue may have also led to some explore.exe crashes or impacted insiders. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft also fixed an issue leading to insiders seeing error 0x873e6 when copying files from Google Drive. They also made another change to help improve the performance of loading home. They also fixed an issue where if you had ever opened the context menu, doing control alt delete and canceling would lead to explore.exe crashing. And also they fixed a sporadic explore.exe crash when closing file explorer windows. Regarding the task manager, Microsoft fixed some issues related to access key using the task manager, including that you weren't able to directly press Alt plus without first releasing the Alt key and displaying the access keys wouldn't work ever having used and dismissed them. If the CPU reaches 100%, the CPU column header should no longer unexpectedly become unreadable in dark mode. And also regarding Windows security, Microsoft fixed an issue which could result in smart app control unexpectedly blocking correctly signed applications. There are also a few other fixes, but you will be able to find the whole list of fixes in the article down below in the description and also the list of known issues for this build. This is basically the new start for Microsoft. They are starting now to work on the newest Windows 11 version that will be newer than 22H2. So this is good news because we will see some new interesting features and also Windows 11 22H2 is approaching its launch. So this was the build 25,115. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time. Have a nice day.